evening, everyone, and welcome back to the stream. So, originally, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to stream tonight because things were getting a little late and things like that, but, um, but I have some time, and uh, I'm going to be able to go probably around an hour and a half or so. So, I was trying to think of what game to play because we just finished off, we effectively beat um, Westerado. We beat Restorado as of yesterday, uh, finishing up the extra ending and things like that. So I think that was I think that was a positive thing. And one of the things we were talking about over the past couple days was full motion video games and and what full motion video games are actually good. So I mentioned the other day that the Tex Murphy series, Tex Murphy series is something that I consider I consider the full motion video games in the Tex Murphy series to be to be a really, really, really good experience and, and, and full motion video done right, in my opinion. And I mentioned that last year, a game called Tesla Effect, which is the latest in the Tex Murphy series, was released. So I thought, and this is something I've been playing around with. I've been toying with the idea of streaming this game for a long time, and I've been putting it off. I've been putting it off because I have no idea if there's going to be any interest in the game. Like, any interest whatsoever. I have no clue. But, you know what? I decided I'm not going to put it off anymore. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to do it, and we're going to play the game, and we're going to play it. Tesla Effect. Tex Murphy. The latest in the series. So, this is going to be something a little bit different for everybody. Because it is a full motion video game, I'm not sure if it makes sense for me to have the camera up in the side of the screen or not. I'm going to keep it up in the side, and we're going to see if it makes if it ends up making sense. Uh, if it doesn't, then I'll remove the camera, the same as what we did with West with Restorado. But we will see, and we are going to start uh, right now, I think. So let's get in here. So we'll uh, let's get let's get going and make sure everything uh, make sure everything works. And then you guys tell me if the uh, if the audio seems off, like too low or too high or whatever, because Obviously, you're going to want to hear the you're going to want to hear the um, dialogue in this because it's it's a full motion video game. So very different from the style of games we've been playing recently. But I think it'll be fun. I think it sh it should be. I, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Well, or maybe it's not. Who knows? We're going to get started regardless. We are not a casual. We are a gamer. Gamer mode. Flashlight. We're not reveal any sparkle hints. We we're, we're not we're not Twilight vampires. The in-game hint system is inaccessible. We don't need no stinking hits, hints, and puzzles may not be skipped. We are going to f solve all the puzzles. Points are earned based on the fairness and strength of your investigative skills. Gain enough to see what kind of PI you are, and remember, no matter what your PI rating is, your choices will affect how the story ends. So, it's a game about choice and multiple endings. Our profile name is obviously Pancakes with Ba? No. Pa pan. W. Bacon. How about how that? But that fit. That fits. Okay. That that works, I suppose. So we'll get we'll get into it. And as I'm going through this, I will likely, I will likely be talking about Tex Murphy in general and kind of the the series as a whole as we go because because I, I've absolutely loved this series and I've played them all. So. You're gonna you're gonna hear me go all nostalgic, I'm pretty sure, as we do this. So without further ado, let us enter into the world of full motion video gaming as of last year. Tesla effect. Where am I? Is this a dream? I'm gonna be quiet, by the way. Not quite, Murphy. Then you're the the big PI in the sky? That's right, Murphy. But now is not the time for you to be here. There is a vast and malignant evil at work on the Earth, and fate, for some reason that even I cannot fathom, has chosen you to oppose it. Mm -hmm. but why me? I'm no more thrilled about it than you are. Nevertheless, your fate has been decided. So, note, that was, of course, James Earl Jones. He did the voice of the big P.I. in the sky for uh, Tex Murphy... Under a Killing Moon. Now, this was a game that was that was that is the result of Kickstarter. Um, so it was a Kickstarter effort last year 
that that they um, or I guess two years ago that enabled them to actually make the game. And I mean, tons of fans of this really contributed and and made it happen, which is kind of damn awesome, in my opinion. So we're gonna so so this we're gonna be a little bit different because of the way the story is and the fact that it's acted. I'm going to try to be quiet during cutscenes because, well, I <laughs> I don't want to interrupt the the flow of the story. But I will say I do enjoy the uh, the opening theme here. I think it sounds cool, personally. Todd Bridges from Different Strokes. What you talking about, Willis? That was that was Todd Bridges. For anyone who wasn't aware. So for anybody who doesn't know, Nikola Tesla is pretty much a badass. Badass scientist. You should look him up. He's a legit badass. And we enter New San Francisco 2050. My name's Tex Murphy. I'm a small-time private investigator in the big city of New San Francisco. My office isn't in the glamour districts. It's in the run-down, mutant part of the city, close to Coy Tower. A place they've been refurbishing for years, but it never seems to improve. Not exactly great for business, but it holds a strange attraction for me. I've cracked some pretty big cases over the years. You may even have heard of me. But I don't do much investigating anymore. These days, I'm known for being a man who gets things done, no matter what the cost. You got a job that pays? I'll do it. No questions asked. I can't really remember why I became a PI. Maybe I was drawn to the romance, adventure, and independence it offered. Or maybe because I believed in its code of honor. That a man can remain untarnished as others sink into a cesspool of lies, corruption, and greed. A man better than the world around him. Or not. So you guys let me know if you want me to uh, turn the webcam off. For this, to be more immersive. So, a quick word. This is, this is not meant to be a totally serious game. There's definitely comedic elements and kind of hammy acting. Which is all part of the charm, in my opinion. And and for from a from a gameplay standpoint, I am literally going to try to be the biggest dick I can be. Just FYI. So when given a choice, I'm going to try to be a, a set of principles can slowly slip from your grasp. A complete asshole. The world has a way of beating you into submission. Circumstances change. The guilty aren't always punished. Temptations become obsessions, and love can be violently taken leaving it empty and hollow. Each day, innocence fades, and your character weakens. And that's not all at once, but a piece at a time until you can't be put back together again. You finally realize the only way to get ahead in this world is to make sure you're on the winning side, and then do anything you can to stay alive. I don't know why I'm so reflective tonight. Maybe I finally crossed the Rubicon, but that's not true either. I passed that sign miles back and didn't even pause to take a picture. You need a Maybe photo I just film. feel extra guilty tonight for what I'm about to do. What are you gonna do, Tex? Didn't even take a photograph. That just seems wrong. There was a time when I would have never agreed to do something this despicable. I can't explain why I do this. It's gonna happen, Jesus though. Would understand. No, Tex. Random dude! Welcome back to the stream. How you doing today, my friend? How you doing today, random dude? So this is an example of a full motion video game, in my opinion, done right. We'll see what happens. Tex Murphy, PI and dance instructor, of course. The two occupations go hand in hand. Five hours later. Uh oh. I think I 
think we got him. Let's get out of here. Could be better, could be worse. Okay. All right, so kind of kind of in the middle there. Day 1. Oh, my head. A rude awakening or the 7 year ouch. Hmm. Tex, you should get that looked at. Probably is not good. God? Hey, you! Over here! Oh, never mind. Is full motion even still a thing? This is from last year! Finally! What was all that commotion outside, anyway? This is literally from last year, so I mean, Howza. it's you sort really of a got thing. A hit on the head. Remember me, your old pal Huck? Seriously, you look clueless. Well, uh, who or what are you? Geez, how hard did you hit your head? Pretty well, damn let me hard. Well, reintroduce myself. I'm your smart Alex, your personal assistant, version 1.5, fashioned three years ago in a factory with truly horrible working conditions. <laughs> Little pancake is two today. I'm a trusty, tech-savvy sidekick. That is Primary awesome, Ultimate Destroyer. Welcome back to the stream. How are you doing tonight? Inventory tracking and analysis, investigative advice, case notes, and I'm also a confidant and a best buddy, you gigantic old... Of course, a confidant Not really. and... Would you Best like buddy. a tutorial on my usage? We don't need any tutorials. We're, we're good here. Let's get into the game. We'll figure it out as we go. So, for, so just so everybody knows, my goal, th this game has multiple endings and multiple ways to kind of play through it. We're, my goal is to be the biggest dick imaginable. I'm going to be an ass. FYI. So, so just to go over the game a little bit for anybody who hasn't uh, who hasn't played a Tex Murphy game, basically, it's 3D environments where you're kind of moving around in first person. You can explore and examine and pick up things and everything like that. And you have inventory management that you can go to, and uh, and do stuff in different maps and flashlight and everything like that. So look, oh, flashlight, uh, put that away. So um, and there's like voiceovers recorded for everything as we examine and explore. Uh, now, the cool thing about this game is that there's a lot of there's a lot of throwbacks to some of the older games in the series. Like as we look around, you're going to see some videos from the older games in the series, and we're going to see you're going to see how much things have progressed. So this was released last year, um, and basically, I mean, the full motion video. There's there's going to be some full motion video in here from games from like '95. So you're going to see how it improved and how this is so HD and the other stuff isn't. Is it super cheesy? It is amazingly cheesy, random dude. It is it is really cheesy, intentionally so, which makes it even more awesome. Why is everyone you're watching just buffering? I don't I don't know, Ultimate Destroyer. I don't know. That's no good. That's not a good thing at all. But yes, it, it is incredibly it is incredibly cheesy, intentionally so. So it will be good. So let's uh, let's start exploring. It's one of my business cards, but it looks different. I'll raise. Why did I change these? Let me raise the sound to make sure we can hear it okay. Enigma. Huh. Sounds like the story of my life. Why would I be researching? Alright, so let's see. So in, in true adventure game fashion, we probably need this crazy glue. Glue's always useful. Eh, let's take the crazy glue. Uh, what do we got over here? Article on the Russian white movement. Am I truly so bored I'm reading Russian history? Twitch is being Twitch for you as well, random dude? Well, God damn it. Twitch! I'm I'm sending out I'm sending out good vibes to Twitch. Twitch just died? Oh. That's Caddy some man! Welcome to the stream. How you doing today? Did did it did it did it just die? Because if that die if it died, that's no good. I mean it's still showing It's still showing up okay okay over here, but I don't know what's going on. A lot of money. What on earth is this amount of cash doing in my office? That's a lot Someone of money. Someone was trying to hire me to do something. Probably wasn't legal. Uh -huh. I better put this away. And, and Caddy just left exactly the stream because here. it shut off. Well, hopefully it comes back. I don't know why I would be doing this. It looks it looks solid on my end, but that means nothing, as we know with Twitch. Uh. So that that is that is no good. Hopefully it comes back for you guys. So we do have a fax. Oh boy, a fax. What, what's, what's the fax say? 
So we, so like I said, this has some inventory management and stuff, so we can take a look at things. Oh, it's and, a bottle of stupid glue. Ah, stupid glue. Of course. Instant glue. And the facts. It's a note from my old friend Archie Ellis. All right, let's read it. Apparently he's out of town doing some research. When he returns, I'll need to ask him about the case we're working on. All right, so it says... Oh, Fabit, I just clicked. I've been out of state doing UFO research, also checking out a Bigfoot sighting, but that's another story. I should be back in a couple of days, and it would be great to catch up on what you're working on. Archie Ellis. All right, so we'll have to check out that guy eventually. I don't know if Twitch is, is, al is alive or dead, to be honest with you. I'm going to pretend that it's alive and keep going My until, Louis runs the brew and you know. Stew, and this is his personal brand of coffee. I gotta say, it packs uh, a wallop. Oh, we got a comic book. Mike and Ike Hammer. Well, it's another Mike and Ike Hammer candy comic, Key Lime Largo. I'll put this in my comic book rack. Yeah, of course we will. I love the, I love me some comics. Uh, another one? My camera books are great, but I prefer stories about his crazy nephews, Mike and Random Ike. dude can see again. I try to collect all the Very good. comics. Hopefully, hopefully Twitch doesn't doesn't keep doing that kind of stuff. All right, so here's going to be one of that one of those old school things. Uh, the Colonel. He was my first real mentor in the PI business, and here he is giving me a helpful tip. So this scene is from Under a Killing Moon, which was like 93, 94, something like that? Because apparently you never learned the first rule of a PI. And never, ever betray your friends. Now, friendship goes beyond blood and race and politics. you got to find out who your friends are, then you hold on to them. Yeah, that I was... get the chill of fear down my spine. It's a little, a little harsh, to be honest with you. But that, so just to, that video was actually remastered. That was actually remastered video from Under a Killing Moon. What about here? No, no, no file stuff. Oh, I might. Okay. Anything in this file cabinet? Oh. No. Well, the file cabinet's really not giving us anything. Oh my. Jerry, welcome back to the stream. How you doing today, my friend? Hmm. No messages on the vid phone. <laughs> all the cap is in all the world. Looks like somebody's wiped my computer clean. And the computer has been wiped. That's not good. The cap is return. Anything in here? Uh. Alright, exciting file cabinet stuff. This is file cabinet simulator 2015. Sometimes, I wish I had a talking gumball machine as my wacky sidekick. Oh, look at this. The, the hat. These are the fedoras I've collected over the years, and I take great care of them. Hey, one of these has a hole in it. How did that happen? So this is another scene from Under a Killing Moon. Well, trusty sidearm. Been with me since the beginning. You want some of this, huh? Bam, bam! It's incredibly bam, cheesy, bam, bam. by the way. Bam! Incredibly. Bam, bam! Bam! And you! Yeah. What is this game about? Maddie? Hey. welcome back hey, Sonny, to the stream. You How are you doing out? today? My girlfriend threw my I will. I'll explain it in one second. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, just pick it up and, uh... Hey, don't... Don't point that thing up here. That's not a toy, you know. Oh, the thing. Oh my Bit God. feverish, but not that sick anymore. That's oh, yeah. good, Jerry. Now I remember. All right, so so this game, so basically, to give you a little bit of background, this is part of the this this is part of the Tex Murphy the stream is wired just a black screen. What? That's that's awful, Ultimate Destroyer. Uh, that's no good. So this game is the latest in the line of the Tex Murphy series. It's an adventure game series that was originally released in the 80s. It started in the 80s and has progressed and, and eventually transitioned to full motion video. Last year, they, or I guess two years ago, they launched a Kickstarter campaign to try to bring it back after like 10 or 11 years without a game. They succeeded with the Kickstarter campaign, and this is the game that resulted. So what they basically did with this game, this is the latest in the storyline, and what they basically did with the game was they, in addition to having a story, they also put in a lot of old-school references to some of the older games, kind of like as a fan thing, fan service, so to speak. Um, <laughs> and Random Dude likes it already. The cutscenes are awesome. Yes. Archie Ellis wrote a book. It's working now? Okay, cool, Ultimate Destroyer. All right, so take a look at this one. So so this one is going to go back to an even older game. This is this next clip is going to be from pre-full motion video, and it's going to be really old. This happened on my first case. This is from the first case, Mean Streets. At the warehouse district. So, so take a look at this one. This is an actual game from the 80s. 
<laughs> Needs more spandex and hairspray. Well, this game itself that we're playing right now is from last year, but this is an 80. This is the 80s. Plenty of spandex and hairspray bullet. in that. While I was recovering, I swore I was always going to use my brains before brawn. So, so basically, the way this started out um, for, for this game, you kind of wake up and you have amnesia, so to speak. So you don't know what the hell's been going on, and your amnesia lasted for, like, basically wiped out the last, like, seven years. And we'll, we'll find out more about it water as we, uh, as we go. Cups. Uh oh. I sure don't remember how these holes got in the wall. Probably a fairly recent, judging from the debris. Who would have done this? Why? I, I think what happened, Tex, is um, you see the the dance moves that you're teaching. Salsa dancing is a Murphy family tradition. You, you kind of, you did the dancing, and I think you kind of slipped up, and you know the two left feet thing kind of affected that. Uh, let's see what's uh. Oh wait, what is this? <laughs> it's my Gene Autry fake book. Whenever I'm feeling low. I can sing the songs of my hero. All right, let's. Oh, it's a broken this is record. I keep my knickknacks and patty. Man, this record's broken in two. Ah, but you know what? We got some glue. So in in traditional adventure game logic, we're gonna combine the glue. Well, that won't work. Oops, no, 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 not like that. We're going to combine the glue with the broken record to get. Ding, 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 ding. A combined we record. Have a winner. And then we're gonna use the combined record. Guess I better not be too creative, cause it. On the on the Victrola, let's use it over here. My old trusty Victrola still seems the same. Plays my seventy. Have I played a lot of this? I actually I've beaten this game once before. I've beaten I've beaten this game once before as the good guy. That my traditional play my traditional play style, as you guys know, is always the sh knight in shining armor, good guy kind of person. So that's why I said for this playthrough, and because there's multiple endings, I want to be a total bastard, and I want to see what happens, because I'm kind of excited about it. So let's use the vinyl record. Bit of reverb and the snare drum would help. Oh wait, that's nothing to do with video game. Oh, yes. I close my eyes hey look, it just became Fallout New Vegas. I'm yeah, just, you know, walking around in the, down in the waste and everything. Why'd it turn off? Turn it back on. I, close my eyes I like the song. Let's see, what is this? The University of Investigation of Utah Got a bunch of degrees. Super tired because today you're going to go to sleep. All right, Ultimate Destroyer. Well, have a good evening. Get some good sleep. And I will see you hopefully next time, my friend. Take care, buddy. These are my credentials. They don't just give this to anyone. You have to pay a fee. So you got to pay for it, apparently. The Arthur Murphy School These of Dance. These are my credentials. Uh, they don't just give this to anyone. What's this say? golf partners. Old bogey, we call him. Yeah, old bogey. Well, I right, hear the dance. The Roomba. And the salsa. When things get slow in the detective business, I've always been able to fall back on my skills as a dance instructor. Oh, the, uh... Wait, there was money here. Did I pick up the money? There was money here, like, a second ago, and now it's kind of gone. I think. What? What the hell? I swear there was money there. What is this, the Ark of the Covenant? Footrest. It is! It up at a government warehouse sale years back. I've never had the nerve to open it all the way. Well, well look, this is where the magic happens, apparently, What's right? What's up with the bed? Looks like it's for a look at that. instead of some hard-working down-on-his-luck P.I. Look at the leopard what sheets. Are crazy here? Who else? Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't want leather? I mean, the uh, the leopard sheets, leopard print. I think is is the way to go. Yeah, not many people wake up from blackouts with new furniture. Well, it depends on it depends on how much you drank, to be honest. Um, yeah, I remember years ago, I was finishing up the latest Mike and Ike Candy Kids adventure, and I realized I devoured several chapters, and it wasn't agreeing with me. I could feel my stomach churning like a volcano, and I realized I wasn't going to make it to the bathroom. Oh, what the, I'll get you, Murphy, if he's the last thing I do. Oh. Yeah, it's kind of been a sore spot in our relationship ever since. That's a shame. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes the whole throwing up on somebody doesn't work out the way you would hope. Uh, not Whoa. that I speak from experience, but... I've never seen this much money in my life. If this is my money, what are they paying me for? Uh, who knows, Tex? Who knows? The door to my back storage room is locked. That's strange. What about this way? Well, I had this door permanently sealed as it opened directly into my bedroom. People thought that was awfully presumptuous of me. Uh, can we do anything? Uh, what is this thing? Is yeah, it just San a map? San Francisco looks way different now. Eh, okay. Ah, that was from my first jackalope hunt. Jackalope? Random dude likes the full motion. Yeah, I I'm gonna be honest with you. When it's done, when it's done right, I really do enjoy it, and I think it's pretty damn cool. 
All right, let's take a look uh, out here. Out onto the streets. Uh-oh. So it wasn't a horrible dream. There are gun shell casings and a shot out window above the electronics shop. I know I'm involved, but how? I should investigate the area and then find out if anybody else heard the commotion. All right, so it's time to go investigative. Investigative detective stuff. Uh-oh. Chelsea's newsstand is completely abandoned. I need to find out what happened to Chelsea. All right, so so backstory. Chelsea is Tex Texas girlfriend. So so let me uh only thing you dislike is the fact you can't fist a <laughs> you can't fist a giant boar. Unfortunately, that I think they were they were going to work on that for the sequel and it just never it never happened. So to give a little bit of backstory, Chelsea is Texas girlfriend and and the way the game before this one ended you were basically walking out of a of a dinner and and you got a cab because your car was stolen and and basically you're in the cab and then the cabbie turns out to be a bad guy turns around and shoots you both with the tranquilizer dart and then and then like fade to black and then literally that's how the game ended and then like 12 years later this came out so that's that's kind of the the backstory the immediate backstory Let's see what is this Lead pipes are always magically drawn to my skull, like moths. Oh, here's another scene from Under a Killing Moon. Oh, the special effects! Get, don't, oh, fight back! Fight back! You got this! How? Batman! Oh, no. Oh, to the back of the head! Oh, again! Don't! I, I, I know what you mean, random dude. It was literally like, fans were like, holy crap, really? I can't believe you left me like that. Left me hanging. Poor Tex. Poor Tex. <laughs> yeah, it's no good. What is this thing? That's an empty vial. Well, say, like, like really? Like, that's... Could have gotten a little bit more descriptive. All right, so we got some bullet casings. Where is he? He's up at the window. I think we got him. Someone was shooting from the top of the electronics shop. Oh, what the hell? Okay, what is this? This photo was taken from the top floor of the electronics shop. Who's over there spying on me? Right, let's take a look in our inventory. What do we have? We have the surveillance photo. Anything, anything of note? Whoa, it's a picture of me at my office. Someone's been spying on me from the top floor of the electronics shop. Oh. All right, so it looks like we got some blood here. A shoe? He's injected himself. I don't care. Drag him into the speeder. I think someone was getting abducted. Hmm. So what the hell? Is anything it looks in here? Looks like the dumpster escaped unscathed. Well, what is this thing? It's the Wardenclyffe Tower. Oh. The Nikola Tesla invention. I have the strangest feeling this is related to a case I was working on. All right, do we have anything to look at here? Am I the dopest MC yet? I am absolutely the dopest MC. I I. How how could you think anything else? Anything other? It's the Wardenclyffe Tower, a Nikola Tesla right? invention. I have the strangest feeling this is related to a case I was working on. It's very related to a case. All right, so so because we're explorers, you know we gotta we gotta explore. I can't just continue with the story. Let's look around this. Let's look around the alley and stuff. Ooh, comic book. Mike and I camera, murder my sweet. All right, so so there so the comic books are collectible in this game. If you get all of them, if you get all the comic books, you end up, um, you end up with like a special, a special unlockable Close. chapter. Yeah, this at the end. Been a lemon for I gotta to prove it. A business here. Oh, I can't, I can't necessarily prove it per se. Proof is such a hard thing. You know, it's very difficult. Like, like detectives, like Sherlock Holmes, he proves a lot of stuff. I, I got I got nothing. It's very difficult for me to prove anything. Which sometimes works in my favor. Another comic book. Another Mike and I camera candy comic. Tootsie rolled. Goddamn Tootsie rolled. Gotta watch out. Okay, I don't wanna jump. That's not good. How about we go back inside? So the the movement around the 3D environment is limited. Like you can't necessarily jump or do anything like that. But you can, uh, obviously look around. Well, flashlight time. Anything good? So it's very limited 3D movement in the, in the first person perspective, but 
it still gives you it still gives you that sense of exploration and stuff. This old Buick's been picked clean by the urban vultures. Right, so let's check what's up here. This became a highly sought-after neighborhood. Anyone inside? Three when it was found that the radiation couldn't penetrate through all the lead paint. Hello? Anyone? Take a quick look up here. Initiate maximum. Initiates maximum lurk because it's time to sleep. That sounds good, Jerry. Lurk and and relax to the soothing sounds of Tex Murphy and my voice. Totally soothing. Right? I think. Really soothing. What is it? Okay. Oh, this is gonna be another flashback thingy. My nose has started sagging lately. Makes it hard to breathe. Now, what kind of info are you looking for, huh? Well... And <laughs> Jerry the Race Lurker. That's a cool name. I'm, I'm gonna take that name. Alright, so, yeah, that was another scene from Under a Killing Moon. And we got some, some boxes of stuff, sort of. I guess walk right through. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Going up. Whoa, that's that's rapidly going up. Anything, uh, anything further up? Where are we going? All right, we got the. Silly red light is kind of like, kind of like playing with my eyes. What does this say? This is San Francisco Historical Landmark Koi Tower. Whoa, I wasn't always nervous about heights until my Under a Killing Moon case. <laughs> Phantom Dude's gonna have nightmares from that scene. And slip from the 32nd floor. Yeah, I have, I have them too. Looks like no one's home. Here we go. This is gonna be easier than falling off a horse. Uh -oh. This window doesn't want to open up. Maybe if I whoa, whoa. silly tax. Oh, yeah. Uh. And that is the magic of green screen technology in the nineties. Unfortunately, I hit an awning before I hit the ground, but I didn't stop bouncing for about thirty minutes. It's a lot of bounce time. Maybe a little bit too. I don't want to. Okay, I'm not going to jump. That would probably be a mistake. It would probably it would probably not work out the way we'd intended to. <laughs> Randall does not even know how to respond. It's just yes, it it is it is it is that it is that corny. It is absolutely that corny, and it's wonderful. It is absolutely remarkable, I would say. All right, let's go. Um, Let's go actually, I think we'll actually go talk to somebody. Let's go talk to somebody, and, and then I'll, we, can, we can see the, uh, the conversation system, which is basically a dialogue tree that you, pick respond, that you pick questions from. First, is there anything back here? This is like the back of a hotel thingy. <laughs> you like how you jump back up? Yeah, you know, I mean, it's like the cat light reflexes. Is this a doghouse? Music, what's this? Oh, yeah. Okay, this is another, uh... Good evening, ladies and charms. I'm your entertainer tonight, Mr. Franco Spinoza. I'm gonna be playing some songs that I know you'll love. Listen to this one. Way better than that... Than that... Hot and cold. Oh. It's what it does to me. Hot and cold. The shower sprays on me. La, la. Hey, la, la, la. la. hell with it. At least... At least he didn't try to play Moonlight Sonata. That could have gone much worse. It, it kind of, it kind of could have been been in been a much worse situation than what ended up happening. So we have to take, we have to take the good with the bad, and and that definitely helps a little bit. What is this? Some, what do we got here? Oh, a, a note under a rock. What do we got here? It's like instructions to get into the Snow White warehouse. Let's see what the instructions say. They say, Hey Joe. We changed the Snow White Warehouse lockbox code. New code is 4268. Destroy this after reading. Um, someone screwed that one here? up, didn't they? It's like instructions to get into the Snow White Warehouse. All right, 4268. So let's just open up the thing. It needs a key. Uh, son of a bitch. Of course it needs a key. What what place in their right mind wouldn't use a key at this point and this venture? 
Okay. I'm pretty sure every one of your cases involves the Snow White Warehouse. Not going to talk to focus fully on this game from now on. That sounds okay, random dude. That sounds good to me. Yeah, focus fully fully on the game. Needs <laughs> it needs your full concentration. It, it it absolutely does. It warrants it. It warrants the full and unadulterated conversation. Regards I mean, midnight, concentration. Right now. Say I'll conversation. Try back later. Oh, wait, okay, this is... So this is going to be a scene from Pandora Directive, which is the game that came after Under me Killing Moon. Pandora Directive case where we met a charming fellow named Jackson Cross. Oh, yes. I'm going to do you the favor of a lifetime. I'm going to let you walk. Thank you. But if I catch you meddling in NSA affairs one more time, uh, uh -huh. I'm going to put a bullet right in your eyeball. Is that clear? Uh... It sounds a little harsh. Get this but, puke head uh, out of my office. You, well, I'll be watching you, Murphy. If that's the last thing I do, I'll be watching you. Why can't you uh, see? Oh, no. The Andes Mountains. So Pandora Directive was about was about aliens. FYI, Ritz Hotel. So this is where we stay. We are we live in the Ritz Hotel, in a in an apartment up above. <laughs> That buffoon always got credit for cases I solved. So, little uh, little trivia thing. This guy, Mac Malden here, is actually the guy who plays Tex Murphy. The guy who plays Tex Murphy is Chris Jones. The guy who played Mac Malden, who was a police guy, uh, he was actually Tex Murphy's, or Chris Jones' brother. So, little little interesting Tex Murphy trivia for, for everybody. The problem with vidphones is you can't call anyone from the bathroom anymore. Well... Well, you shouldn't. I mean, I think that's more of a guideline as opposed to a rule. I mean, you know, as long as you have it focused in the right direction, the vid phone call from a bathroom could could work. What the frig is that stain? It's best not to sit on these couches, but if you do, you better be wearing a hazmat suit. That seems about right. What does it say? Anything? If the bell is on the front desk. I could ring it and talk to the clerk. Got no bell. Tax, there's no bell. Uh. Oh. Sapphire, domineering escort. Have you been a bad boy? Shit. Sapphire, eh? That sounds like a fun new neighbor. Oh, God. Um, there's definitely a party going on in there. Well, this is a flashy new neighbor. I don't know. I don't know that we want to go in there. I'll take the flashlight out. Anything down here? No. I really can't wait to be a dick. By the way, I, I'm like I'm looking forward to it so much. People who stay here at the Ritz don't want to be found. All right, so what is this thing? Yeah, needs a key. <laughs> it's a combo of all stains to make a super stain. Oh, they uh, this is this looks like. Uh oh, some... that doesn't look good. That doesn't that does not look good. All right, well let's keep uh, let's keep looking around. Maybe we'll go up top more. I think this is going to lead to our office. Or the back. Well, I had this door permanently sealed as it opened directly into my bedroom. Ah, okay, People that's that was awfully presumptuous. That's the that's the thing that goes to the back of our house or our back of our apartment. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, so let's go. I know I said I was going to do this before, but let's go actually talk to somebody, or try to talk to somebody. All right, so that door is locked right now. Let's take a quick look over here, just to make sure, and then we'll go talk to uh, we'll go talk to Louis. Louis Laments over in the, uh... Ooh, a, a comic book. Uh, it's a Mike and I Hammer Candy comic. Citizen Candy Cane. Citizen Candy Cane. The, the... Yeah, looks like Louis at the Bruin Stew is another preparing comic. to open up shop. You should go talk to him. Maybe he heard something. Yeah, I, I got... I was just saying that, man. Uh, it's a Mike and I Hammer Candy comic. The Sweet and Sour Lady. I'll put this in my comic book rack back at the office. Of course we will. We love that comic book rack. All right, so Inspector Burns Barbecue... Five alarm flavor. I don't know if I trust that. All right, in to talk to Louie. I'm here to see my pal Louie, but I see a pretty brunette at the counter. Oh, baby. I have the feeling she recognizes me, but I have no idea who she is. Well, hey there. Well, hello, stranger. Hello there. Um, pinch me. I must be having a dream. This totally feels like a dream. Oh shit, that's right. That has got to be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Just for that, I'm going to get you some coffee. Well, how, how about a how about a drink? Um let's see. What uh let's do a metaphor. Sure. 
I like it like my heart. Black? Yeah, a little, little spot of cream. Uh, let's see, uh, we'll do affirmative. Uh, yeah. And you don't seem... Blood? Yeah, a little bit... Ow, you son of a oh, bitch! Uh, been out picking fights again. No, but you're grabbing my friggin' wound! But, um, you know, how about a little, uh... Uh, I don't know what happened, but you look pretty incredible in a nurse's outfit. Well, isn't he just saying huh? what we're all thinking? You in the mood for a little role playing? Oh boy. Who do you think you are? Where is this going? Mr. Tall, blonde, and bloody. Uh. Uh. <laughs> stranger danger! Stranger danger! Stranger danger! Maybe I should go find Louie. You shouldn't go drinking without me. Next time, call me and we'll get sloshed together. Well, that sounds more fun. Okay. Ah, oh, jeez, I'm late. I got a new extension at work. I'll send it to your smart Alex. That sounds Please, good. Please, go see Dr. Donahue at the North Hill Clinic. Okay. Call me after and tell me what she says about that noggin of yours. See you, Uncle Louie. Oh, see shit. You, Uncle Louie? Um. Oh. Hey there. Mr. Mighty. What are you doing here? Uh. Uh, it, 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 I was I was talking to the lady. Hey, tell me who that woman was who just left here, and why does she act like she knows me? Why you gotta be like that? You know Taylor. Oh yeah, Taylor. Taylor too well, you ask me. Well, you're just being like the overprotective you drunk uncle again. Of always. I told you, you ain't allowed in here. You've been drinking. I didn't drink that much. I, I actually it was. I think it was probably the the intense narcotics that I was doing. It wasn't the um I am stone the cold drinking. sober. Other than my head, I feel totally normal. It's everything else that's weird. I think everything. What happened to your head? I don't know. I woke up on the fire escape. Who I knows? Go into my apartment and everything is different. The street, Chelsea's newsstand, you Everything is completely different. Did you see that, that calendar I mean, in the background? I don't know whether I'm tripping here or having a bad time. At least, at least he's not drunk. Look at that calendar. What's I like, the last thing you remember? I like that calendar in the background. Before you woke up. Uh, I don't know. But something with Chelsea. Yeah. Chelsea? What day do you think it is? No, hold on. Uh oh. What year do you think it is? Oh, shit's about to get real. What year? Are you serious? It's 2043. Oh, jeez. Uh oh. Look at that calendar. Over there? Yeah. The fridge? I will. Oh, baby. 2050. What uh, the hell's going on here? Last night, Chelsea and I went to the Golden Pagoda. That is. Alright, so this is that very scene very I was telling you about, guys. Very, very attractive. That's Chelsea, his girlfriend. They were, they were about to get it on, and then. Fuck, my car's oh, no. gone. What? It's me. Look, somebody has stolen our car. I mean, here I am, my speeder's stolen out here, I'm sitting on a great... Oi! Uh, would you guys like a lift to the cop shop? No, we'll walk. Yeah, we're good here. He's really just trying to do us a favor. Chelsea, I'm getting a really bad feeling about this. I don't trust the guy. Some sort of deja vu. Don't, don't trust the guy. Shouldn't trust the guy. Who's your mate? Oh, that's Tex. He's having a very bad day. That true, Tex? Yeah. Oh, no. Everything's just going peachy. Well, things could get worse, huh? There it is! He shot me. He, he shot both of there, us. There's the, there's the shot. shot. I mean, there's nothing. Why isn't there anything? That's what I'm trying to tell you, Mike. Hmm. It wasn't last night. It was seven years ago. Total mind what fuck. What the hell is that? Big ass spider bite. It's like you got injected with something. Should avoid the spiders like that. Maybe that's what's messing with your head. Or maybe it's that goose egg. I'm sure it's not helping. Either way, buddy, you gotta see a doctor. Yes, definitely. Um, but what, what happened to Chelsea, Louis? Louis? Uh, anything? What about Chelsea? Where is she? I mean, is she okay? You said to never say nothing about her. 
Well, never. Technically, that's a double negative. So, if you never say nothing, you're gonna say something. So, uh, it's actually so. If we're talking English, right? Double negative. You never say nothing. That means you gotta say something. So, spill the beans. Okay. This is this is me talking here. Louis, I don't know what kind of bastard I turned into over these last seven years, but this is me. Tex, you've got to tell me where Chelsea is. Louis, please tell Despite me. Despite this, we're still going to be a dick. That night, you and Chelsea just Oh shit, it was a triple negative. You showed up <gasps> a few weeks later. You, you couldn't remember oh. nothing then neither. But Chelsea... I messed up. She never showed up. God damn it. Never nothing, never. Oh. I suppose that's... Uh, yeah, so, 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 trap. Sorry, Louis. You, you were actually, you were actually totally correct. I mean, your grammar absolutely ridiculously sucks, but you were correct from a, from a, a, a negative standpoint. Listen, I've got to get my head checked out because something bad's happening here. <sighs> I hate doctors, but I guess I should go get this checked out and find out if there's anything seriously. Yeah, wrong. like a, like a you tumor. You shouldn't be driving in your condition. I'll call you a cab. I can drive. It's okay. All right, so now, sorry, so now this is the normal dialogue options, where basically we question everybody on everything, and we try to learn stuff. So, tell me about myself, because I don't know me. It sure is good to have the old mice back. I don't want to get all mushy, but I missed you, mice. I missed you too, you scar-faced bastard. Tell me about the abduction on Chandler Avenue. Is there, uh, anything you can, you can, uh... Give me some info on. We don't get too much of that stuff around here anymore. Well, uh, cops have been good about cleaning things up. Look at that horrible I tattoo. I have no idea who would have been doing the shooting or getting taken. Look at that ridiculously awful, ta awful tattoo on his arm. It looks like it looks like somebody drew this on with a sharpie. It's just like, right, like like awful. All right, so what, what do you know about the Ritz Hotel, Louis? Uh, Clint's done a real nice job, don't you think? I mean, it's kind of... Good to see the neighborhood getting fixed up. It still smells like cat pee, but I, I guess, I mean, you know. All right, so I, I want to get up into that window. You got any ladders back here, you know, in your establishment? I don't got a ladder. No, oh, okay. You might want to check at the Golden Gate Hotel. They've been doing a bunch of renovations. Golden Gate Hotel, so we can check over there. Okay, I, 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 can, I can do that. Tell me about Archie Ellis. Random dude is guessing that's what happened. Most likely. I, I like that Archie fella. Real friendly. Don't always understand what he's talking about. Yeah, who does? Hey, different strokes for different folks, right? I, I suppose that's I suppose that's accurate. What about Three Cards to Midnight? Is that, that looks like a magic store, and I love magic. Yeah, nice to have some fresh blood here on Chandler Avenue. Uh-huh. Not really the kind of place I do a lot of shopping at, but uh, some folks seem to like it fine. I mean, do they sell? Do they sell like that? That fake, the fake disappearing ink, because because I I have a couple of uses for that. All right, so tell me more about Chelsea. Despite you never, despite me never wanting you to say nothing about her ever again. You know, I love Chelsea like she was my own daughter. Uh huh. I, I still miss her. Even after all this time. Well, maybe. Maybe we should work together to try to figure out what the hell happened to her. But, um, before then... Calvin! Welcome back to the stream! How you doing today, my friend? Welcome back! So tell me about that hot minx that was in here called Taylor. And, and where's her nurse's outfit again? I forget! Oh. You don't remember nothing about Taylor. I mean, she's kind of attractive. She works for the Bay City Mirror. Does a lot of investigation. I'll do and some investigating. She's a real peach. Oh. Sweet, smart, funny. Yeah, I wasn't too happy that you and her were spending time together. What, what's with the but guy looking so real? She so was seeing through all that tough guy stuff. This is actually she's a. She's good that way. This is a full motion video game, Calvin. So this is actually these are this is came out last year. And it actually has full motion video for everything, for all of the all of the interactions. So it's it's a throwback to back in the '90s when full motion video was like a big thing in games. So it's kind of unique in that regard. Louis, tell me about yourself. What 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 do you what what do you what's your story? Oh, me? I'm just the same as always. Just a little less of me than I used to be. 
Well, it's good to lose weight. I mean, that's healthy, right? But now, tell me about my memory loss, because I totally forget... What were I talking about? I wish I could tell you everything you can't remember. But I don't know much. Oh. You and Chelsea went missing, and uh -huh. then you showed up out of nowhere a few weeks later. Yeah, I was kind of wandering. days after, you was gone again. I, I have and to... we saw you a few times after that. I had to sow my oats. A couple of years went by, and then you came back, and... Something bad had happened to you. Well... I don't know what, but it made you hard and mean. Yeah, totally. And you just got worse. Yeah, I'm a real dickhead, aren't I? To where I didn't even want you around anymore. But I'm, I'm back now, except I'm going to be a dick to other people. So, so we're good here. We're good here? We're good here. I can't go to the North Hill Clinic. Not right. now. I need to investigate the crime Super scene dork. find out what happened. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? All right, so we got to keep looking around. So we got uh, some stuff here. Where we're going? Yeah, we'll need roads. We're going to need roads, of course. San Francisco Historical Landmark. This neighborhood has recently been protected under the, under the Antiquities Act. As one of the last remaining original 20th century neighborhoods, this area will soon be fully restored. Laser net security system has been provided to protect the area from vandalism and criminal mischief. Uh, being part of a historical landmark is not really helping my midlife. Whenever crisis. Calvin takes a bite of your chicken pot pie, your tongue hurts. Make him take a bite of it when it's hot and burn some of your taste buds. Oh, and they need to get a Sprite. Sprite's delicious. I like Sprite. You know, I never actually see anyone working on this street. Poor Inspector Burns. And I, st I, I, I will never feel right about what Tex did to, uh, to that dude back in Undercover Moon. So you also go back and forth between video and game. Yes, yeah, and and it's and it's amazing. I love I love the Tex Murphy series. Carlos Maldonado, the undercover man. Just call five 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 dirtbag. No deed too dirty, no job unworthy, and always now that's a dirt cheap. Devil. Wait a minute. Arrival P.I. Oh, man. How did this happen? Uh, let's see what we got. Oh, uh, is that a ladder? Wait. That's a ladder. Let's, let's see what's up top. Might as well do a little bit of exploration. Except I can't go anywhere. Eh, uh, maybe not do an exploration. Let's go down the ladder again. Back. Calvin's back. Welcome back, Calvin. Just go down the ladder. There we go. Alright, so so we gotta find a ladder to get up top to the uh, thing. Look at the skyline. Pretty pretty awesome looking. Uh, let's see, we can't go in here yet. Am I pretty pretty early in so far? This is this is day one, Super Dork, so yes. We are we are literally uh, we pretty much just started fifty minutes ago. So very, very, very early. Go through Behind there. Rook's pawn shop is a dirty, ugly alcove that reminds me a lot of Rook himself. Ah, oh, Rook's a fine guy. We've got a, <laughs> we got a broken zip line trolley thingy. Too bad the zip line trolley is broken. It's missing a wheel. Let's find the uh, let's find the wheel. Uh, th well, look, well, that's convenient. It's, this. it's it's the wheel. So let's examine that, get oh, the points, small wheel. and now let's combine them. They combine in two. I guess luck counts for something. Zipline trolley's repaired. Now we need to find the perfect place to zipline. Who wouldn't want a zipline? Ziplining sounds fun. All right, so back here there is a throwback to Under Killing Moon. It's locked. But when Rook gets to work, he'll unlock it. I believe up here. Later. I think there's a couple. There's a couple things. So the line that Tex is about to say right here comes directly from Under Killing Moon. This door's just painted on. And then there's also this basketball over there, which I think we can look at. Can we look at that? That's Rook's pawn shop. Uh, maybe Why that. A little gremlin like Rook have a basketball. So once we're able to get back there and look at that basketball, there's going to be a cutscene from Under a Killing Moon, um, with Tex playing basketball badly, as you would expect. Uh, let's see. Are we missing anything? You always want to be. You always want to look around big time. It's the random public service announcements. Oh yes, okay. So here's here's a uh, look at that poor man the head in the in the thing. Oh, I remember the day I came back to my office at that grisly sight. Another scene from Under Killing Moon coming up. Poor man. Now how did they fit the freaking head? You got the Last of Us. That's awesome, I Calvin. I tried for an hour to get Pug's head out of the water cooler, but it was no dice. 
police showed up and thought about grilling me until they realized... Super Dork has watched some people play it and has to say the Tesla facts and history are basically correct, which is kind of amazing. People are a little apprehensive about taking that bottle. They go into some of the speculation later in the game, but the history stuff is basically accurate. Yeah, Tesla Tesla was a total badass. Uh, anybody who doesn't know about Tesla should probably look him up and marvel at, These dumpsters have at housed various how awesome he is. Years. Or was, I nice should say. To know I'll have a place to go if I can't make rent. All right, so let's see. Uh, we need to find... We need to find a ladder somewhere. I don't think I can go into Rook's place. No, Rook's place is closed. Let's take... Sad oh, there's a robot. Say, many robots and cyborgs end up down here. Poor robot. They get hooked on old Chihuahua motor oil. And they stumble down oh here looking for a fix until their lights fade out. That, uh, Nikola Tesla, Calvin, was a scientist from uh, around 100... Around 100 years ago or so. And... Um, he was he was basically a super genius like like you know how like there's other scientists and you're like oh that guy's a genius tesla is a super freaking de genius and and basically look him up and look at some of the things that he was able to create and a lot of the things that we take for granted today especially as it has to do with electricity came about because of tesla's amazing amazing discoveries and inventions as a tesla enthusiast Superdork agrees. His fame is pretty good these days, but nowhere near what he deserves. I totally agree Chelsea's with that. Chelsea's newsstand is completely abandoned. I need to find out what happened to Chelsea. Yeah, Tesla. Tesla is is just is just ridiculously um, ridiculously intelligent guy. Right, can we go in here? Oh, oh, we can. Okay. Wow, this place really has been renovated. See, is it nice in here? I guess that dumbbell Ardo must have come into some money. As I walk to the counter, I suspect this place is under new management. New management? Well, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Oh, it is nice in here. It's it's like this is like the Ritz, but but like the like the nice Ritz, not the Ritz crappy place that that Tech stays in. They would have got. Well, at least he looks snappy with the uh, with the tie and everything. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Anything there? Holy shit! Welcome to the Golden Gate Hotel. How Hi can there. I help you? Uh, it, what? Mr. Murphy? Wh when did Skynet take over? Uh, let, let's be flattering. That's some complicated stuff. Google him and look at the images, and it's complicated. It absolutely is, but but just um, imagine the intellect that, that he had back then. Um, there's some biographies that would blow your mind by Margaret Cheney about him. I'll have to look at that. I don't think I've ever read any of those any of those bios. But I've read a lot about him, but I don't know if I've ever read any anything... Um, from her, but I'm definitely interested in Tesla. I really think I, I'm a big fan. Holograms are people too. They are people too. Wow, service around here has gotten a lot better and a lot smarter. Yeah, we like it. Call me Ted. It is call me Ted. No, thank you. The last time I tried that, you were all. I'm a professional. You should be treated as such. Well, I, I mean, <laughs> that just baloney like that. You I can heard about it, and I didn't get any time I, off from. I, I can I can still be a dick and uh, and still be nice to the ladies, if you know what I mean. Let's see. Uh, they got some optional equipment over here. I've, I've got something. Well, I don't need many button-activated women, although oh, yeah. it would be a great optional feature. They just turn them off when you don't want to talk anymore. What's your name? Start complaining about something? Flip the switch. You know very well who I am. Not going to... Holly yeah. Graham. Cute, right? Holly Graham! <laughs> they're, all, they're funny. I, I, like, I, like, I like jokes. Oh, yeah. We humans love the lowest form of humor. Speaking of which, holograms are people too. I mean, what kind of a joke is that? Oh, text. That, that, no, that's being a dick. So you can read. Yeah. It's for the hologram rights movement. That sounds ridiculous. Okay. I hate to tell you this, but holograms aren't people. I uh -huh. don't know, because I've dated a few. That's exactly what they used to say about minorities, women, and mutants. Oh, shit. We're getting her pissed our off. It's turn now. I'm officially on strike. Oh, shit. No. But, but, but I'm, I want to keep talking to you. Um, let's talk about the obvious problem here. There's a movie, The Prestige, that has him as a character, and it was played accurately except for the teleportation machine that ever existed. I watched The Prestige. That was a really, that was a really good movie. I liked that one, too. All right, so what's the obvious problem, Tex? Strikes work a little better when you're uh, not on the job. Son of a bitch. Civil disobedience isn't easy when your oppressors control you with a button. Oh, well, I guess that's true. So, let's just, let's, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work in the hard drive here. Well, you go, girl. Graham. God damn it. Really? Awful. You're the last person I thought I'd hear that from. Well, everyone in this neighborhood's afraid of you, you know. Well, I'm a badass. IT101 says, I just formatted your disk. 
I think your file on me might be corrupted. Uh -huh. Mind if I ask a few diagnostic questions? Oh god, that's awful. Sure. Though I should warn you, I don't get out much. Well, so we'll just talk. So, so tell me about myself. Now that I know you support the hologram rights movement, well, I may have to reevaluate my opinion of you. I don't technically follow that, but but have you seen anything about the abduction on Chandler Avenue? Seeing what the field of light bulbs actually happened, basically everything but is helping the magician is from the history books. Wow, I didn't realize that. Shots, and then the speed that I did not know. Out and took off. Yeah, you, so so you, you've given me no information about that. Great, thank you, Holly Graham. Well, it's no Golden Gate Hotel, is it? Well, you kind of no. I suppose the Ritz is not quite as good. You have any ladders back here, though? I could use a ladder. We keep ladder. everything like that over at the Snow White Warehouse. But can you give me a key to the Snow White Warehouse? Cam said, "Not a and Tesla is something." Tesla has something to do with lightning. It's pretty funny. His name is Tesla, and his inventions are lightning. Um, I'm not sure why, why it's necessarily funny, but 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 yeah. I mean, I mean everything. I mean everything you see nowadays that has like Tesla, like Tesla coil and all that stuff, is named Tesla because of Tesla. So like before Tesla, there was no Tesla. So it's kind of you know, I think. Tesla's... I'm just going to go back to say Tesla's a badass. So tell me about Archie Ellis. He's a UFO guy, right? I think he came in one time with Mojo, the kid from the barbecue place. Uh-huh. It was... awkward. Well... Uh, okay. Tell me about that hottie Taylor. I mean, she, she's kind of a minx, isn't she? Taylor's my bestie. Oh. My real friend. But she's a... You, you're... I don't know what she's doing with you. Well, she obviously likes the private dick. I, I mean, me. I'm, I'm a de detective. The private... Son of a bitch. All right, what about Louis? The nicest tangible I've ever met. Oh, they call me tan call them tangibles. Okay, what is this, like Blade Runner? Tell me about yourself, Holly. What what makes you tick? Oh, you know me. Just a hologram. Okay. Here to serve my tangible oppressors. Well, that's awful. Figure out how to transfer electricity over long distance without wires, which is amazing. Which, which they, they, they still don't, like, do. Which they should be doing more, more of. But, like, wireless charging and stuff. Would have should will be brought about because of Tesla. Tesla has something to do with lightning. His name is Tesla. And he made lightning stuff. It's a cheesy joke. Oh, okay. So, so about that Snow White warehouse. Do you have, have a key to it? I've or something? heard they keep a key or something to get inside the warehouse by the door. Well, I I had the the thing. I should look around the hotel lobby and see if there's anything here that could help me out. All right, so let's take a look around the lobby. What do we got? Uh. Hard in the dust while we make some exciting changes to our ballroom. Hopefully, ballroom renovations include installing an actual ball pit. Uh, one can one can hope. Uh, what is this? When visiting Salt Lake, be sure to visit. Oh. All right, so um, this is a nice place here. Anything in in there? No, nothing there. We'll take a look at this. Only guests of this hotel are allowed entrance through here. Maybe we should be a guest. Oh wait, oh there's a key. What is that? key to a lockbox. I bet you that's the key to the uh, warehouse. It's a key to a lockbox. Well, okay, I didn't really learn anything. When that, visiting Salt Lake? That's Salt Lake City be thing. Be sure to okay. visit. Oh. All right, so I think I think we can go to the Snow White warehouse now and get get in there. Nothing down there. All right, so let's go in the Snow White warehouse and get us a ladder. Ladders are cool. The Llama Club? Uh, I don't think I can get in here yet. It's like a swipe card reader. Hmm. It's closed. Most businesses on Chandler Avenue won't open. Is that a smoking yet. llama? He's smoking. Yeah, that's bad for you, man. Larry Llama? I loved that guy when I was a kid. That's, that's, that's really unhealthy. On Friday, you're going on strike and not going to school? Really? All right, let's open this thing up. That's uh, I I mean I I can't I can't condone skipping school but but it's always fun to not be there. Let's see four two six eight. We have to do four, two, six, eight. Open sesame. Oh, that was some freaky hydraulic lock on there. That's what we got. All right, so here here's gonna be some more uh, some more stuff. Let's see sex offenders list what. Okay, good. Tex's name is not on this. See, Nilo Paglio, Benny Shaw, Ted Bear, Miss Demeanor, and Scary Larry. Some familiar names on the Chandler Avenue sex offender list. Well, 
Alright, what do we got over here? Anything good? So it's just a standard warehouse, kinda. This, this is gonna be a scene from Under Killing Moon coming up. Look at how awful the acting is. Be ready for awful acting. Wow, is this still here? I used this to deal with a cunning criminal on my Under a Killing Moon case who had a bad case of bozophobia. Bozophobia, it's a real issue. Now watch his acting. And look at that haircut and mustache. Here we go. Ooh, it's me, Rusty Kids, and I'm here. <laughs> Mommy's come back. And right through the wall. Gary Lyra is just the best name you can have. It pretty much is, yeah. He wants to show me firsthand when he gets out of prison. I'm not really looking forward. It's pretty much the best. Calvin's just kidding. You're going to go look at apartments with your parents. You're moving. Oh, okay. Yep. All That's right. the Snow White warehouse. And what about up here? I mean, there's like a switch thingy. Oh, a ladder thing. Maybe we can pull that. Get that. Something. What's this? Looks like an interesting read. Oh, Enigma, a Tex Murphy novel by novel by Aaron Connors. So, trivia note, Aaron Connors is is the writer for Tex Murphy for a lot of the Tex Murphy games. He also released a series of novels based on the games. So, kind of interesting trivia. Tex Murphy had uncovered the greatest secret in the history of the world, and there were some who would stop at nothing to protect. And then it stopped. Looks like an interesting read. Well, it looks like it would have been an interesting read if he actually finished it. That's a shame. I, I hate I hate unfinished works. It's better to finish the work as opposed to not. All right, so let's grab the ladder. Well, now that I have a ladder, I can get into the second floor of the electronic shop. All right, so off to the electronic shop we go. Let's take a look at the ladder because we get some points for that. Nice ladder. It's a very nice ladder. All right, so we'll go back over to the electronic shop and we'll um, we'll see if we can get up top now. With the ladder. Let's do it. I don't think I can actually take my speeder anywhere yet. No. So that's like fast travel kind of stuff with the speeder. And right, so let's see if I can uh, just position this like so. Perfect. Now just, just, let's climb. And okay, there are some gun hole bullet holes here. Okay. Well, someone up here is definitely the target of attention. Well, that's a poor joke. Sure, that that's a bad joke, Tex. Anything around here, or should we just go in the one? No, it looks like the one room. Yeah, Louis once told me these rooms were used by bootleggers here. and smugglers during Prohibition. There were hidden panels in rooms where they'd hide their stash. All right, let's open up. And what do we have? Okay, what is? Is it a camera? Someone's been spying on the citizens of Chandler Avenue. What a fiend! Well, someone's been living up here. The Ant Acid Club. That's a damn shame. This guy was working diligently to get a free sub at Inspector Burns Barbecue. Help me to keep him pure. Please vote against the sale of liquors. Someone needs oh. to update their poster collection. Prohibition ended a hundred years ago. Close the saloons. If you believe that the traffic in alcohol does more harm than good, help stop it. Well, no, alcohol is friggin' delicious. Why would you do that? What's that? A business card from a rival detective. That's a Maldonado the business card. All right, what about in here? Off to the races! A day at the races. So I think we got a uh, we got a, a um, puzzle up here. Oh, I was anti-habition myself. Anti? Well, oh, okay. And what we got? Step right up, place your bets. Oh, we got blue, blue, purple, yellow. Blue, purple, yellow. Oh no, we gotta, we gotta do, we gotta use memory. Yellow, orange, red, yellow, something. Yellow, orange, red, yellow, this thingy. Whatever, pink, I guess. And what do we got now? Orange, blue, orange, 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 yellow, blue, pink, shit. Orange, blue, orange, oh, fuck! Never mind. Is that, uh, okay. Yellow, blue, pink, yeah. Okay, orange, blue, orange, orange. Is it this one? No, this. Orange, yellow, shit. Orange, blue, orange, 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 yellow, blue, pink. 
That's what it was. Okay. Orange. Orange. No! What am I? Oh, blue. Shit. God damn my memory. Let's try that again. Orange. Blue. Was it this orange? God damn it. Orange. Orange. Uh. Shit. I wasn't paying attention last time. Orange. Yellow. Blue. Orange, pink. Shit! Okay, random dude. Super lurk mode engaged. Oh, it was just pink after that one. Uh, orange. Blue. Orange. Orange. Uh, shit, I can't remember. Orange. Yellow. Bluish. Pink. Yeah, we got, okay, we got, we got put some points. On to the next one, okay. Oh, that's it. Oh, good, we did it. We, we, we did, we got it. So it's, uh-oh. Hello? Don't shoot! Ow! Son uh, of a bitch. Oh. Uh, that's a shame. No. Don't, don't shoot. I, I don't think he's shooting, Dex. I think he's dead. Uh-oh. Be careful, Tex. You never know. Okay. Well, that was... That was just... Just... Wrong. I, mean, I guess we're okay here. It's a bomb! Maybe not. Could be a bomb. It's definitely a, a trap. Don't touch it. I told you not to touch it. And that's the end of day one. Day two. Tex gets his mojo on. Or... Dead body? Dial M for moron. That seems about right. Following our first lead, and we get ourselves caught in a laser net. All in a day's work, right? Well, it happens. It Smart happens, Alex man. had a point, but I wasn't going to let him have the satisfaction of knowing so. No, never there again. There was one good thing about spending hours stuck in a laser net. You've got time to think. Always looking at who the bright side. Who is this guy who killed him? What kind of surveillance was he doing right across from my apartment? The the creepy kind. And what's in the metal canister? It's a bomb. Unfair! Seven years really passed. Welcome back to the stream. How you doing tonight, my friend? Related to my head injury or the injection mark on my arm? Oh, what's this? <laughs> Son of a bitch! I touched the thing again. Twitch just went R.I.P. Oh, damn Twitch! What the hell? Twitch has been doing that. Who are you? What? What? what you look put together. I suppose. What are you gonna do? You look creepy. Why do you look so creepy? Get away from me, shorty. Is he dead? What do you think? Well, I think you missed a hell of a party. Eh, you know the way. Party? Is. Yeah, you're here in time for the laser show. Does this open this? Ah, son of a bitch, it hurt. <sighs> I was here to meet Carlos Maldonado. Is that you? Or him? Maybe I should lie. Look, I just stumbled onto this little nightmare. And I need to find out who this guy was and what he was doing. I'm a PI, and I assume this guy is Maldonado. Probably. My name's Murphy. Who are you? Mason said Maldonado was a PI. Were you working with Mason too? Who's Mason? I'll be honest. I don't know if I was working for Mason or not. I don't know. Actually, I, I don't know nothing. I'm having severe memory problems here. So anything you can tell me about Maldonado or Mason or what's in the cryo chamber here would it, like, be greatly appreciated. Yeah, just just enlighten me, man. Oh shit, the cops. I think I set off an alarm when I came in here. You doofus! I don't usually do this kind of thing. I was oh. just trying to help Mason. God damn it. He said, come in here, find the PI, get the cryo chamber, and keep it safe. Okay, okay so that's that's all good, but can you let me out of the laser net? Hey, 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 hey I, I found that first. <laughs> Son of a bitch, laser Slow hurts. learner. You have to find Mason. 
I think he's in big trouble with bad people. Okay. I don't know why? He's a neurologist, for God's sake. Oh. But you have to promise me that if I let you go, you won't come after me. You'll find Mason. Fine. Just let me go, man. Oh, I promise. My fingers are so frozen, I can't cross them. But I promise. Live long and prosper. And stuff. Come on, man. Let me out. If your memory problems are part of all this, Mason is the only one who can help you. So right. you need to find him and bring him back safe just as much as I do. So we gotta get to the, uh, neurologist. Well, thank you. I'll be in contact soon. Okay, creepy man. Just, just go, go off to the back and be all, like, creepy the way you are. Am I good? It's safe? It's all good? Yeah, it's, it, yeah, feels pretty good. Yeah, my finger's working. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll take it. Man, those cops are getting close, but I don't want to leave this place without a clue. I better hurry up and find something before they get here. Right, we gotta look around. Let's look at this guy. Yeah, tough break, hombre. Oh, it's a shame. Sucks to be you, apparently. A lot of mixer stuff. One crate of mixers. This guy was hardcore. And what about in here? Not even one That's crate of mixers. This guy was hardcore. Right, so look, he's got he's got cameras all over the place, including my office. Surveying several different locations, including my office. Someone knows what I've been up to. What's it say? Carlos, here are the instructions. Mason Bauer. Well, that might come in handy. Take the little thumb drive thingy. What's that? Um, strictly speaking, I would never encourage anyone to break the law, but uh -huh. those sirens are getting awfully close, and so a you... life sentence for a machine can last a very long time. So move! So you're saying I gotta get out. You're saying you're saying that, that I should I should leave. I wanna I want to inspect stuff. Let's inspect the business card thing. Nice to meet you, Maldonado. Oh, it's a license. And what about that? I'll need terabyte. to find a computer whiz to break the encryption on this memory stick. A terabyte memory stick? That's friggin' sweet. If that actually existed, that'd be awesome. But it doesn't. All right, let's get out of here before before the cops get here. As I try to make my great escape down the ladder. I find two officials waiting to greet me. Oh. Hi, hi guys. Well, what do we got? Hello, boys. Well. If it isn't Tex Murphy. Now, you guys look like a couple of douchebags. Well, it's a little hard to explain. Eh, I can't really explain it. Oh, you know the drill. Yeah, just bring me in. It's okay. Lock me up. Throw away the key. I was really trying to get my hands on that surveillance equipment. Maybe I could see exactly what happened to me. Now the only way I'll find it is if New San Francisco's finest decides to play ball with me. I don't know why they'd start now, but I'd better polish up on the old Murphy charm. Whether you're a mutant or a norm, San Francisco is our home. Be a part of the solution to crime. If you see okay. something suspicious, please report it to the SFPD immediately. That, oh, oh the, the walk of shame. Make it quick, Murphy. I got about a million things to do. And wasting time on you ain't one of them. That big ass nose. New San Francisco Police didn't Department. Didn't take you long to get in trouble, did it? You here to turn yourself in? Uh, just no. I I don't know what I'm doing here. So, where's Malden? Not that I'm complaining. In case you didn't get the memo, I head up the department now. Okay. But things aren't as loosey goosey as they were under Malden. Well, you seem you seem really excited. I'll I'll tell you. So t tell me about what happened to Chelsea, please. Well, I hope you're more helpful than he used to be. Look, I know this is going to sound pretty crazy, but hear me out. It just, you know, this listen. morning, I wake up with a massive head injury and an injection mark on my arm. I think no it was a spider bite. how I got either one of it. Mm. When I talk to a few people, I find out I can't remember anything over the last seven years. Totally blank. You're right, it does sound crazy. But go on. The thing of it is, my last memory is of me and my lady friend getting shot. Like, Your like lady really friend, shot, yeah. That was, uh... Chelsea Bando. That's the one. Yeah. You know that. You, out here. Yeah, I know your burned out speeder was found a few weeks later with Miss Bando's DNA inside of it. Wow, you're you're really excited. You're really showing the enthusiasm. It is true. Chelsea's dead. You closed the case. Uh huh. Though a few of us thought something didn't feel quite right about it. What do you mean? Tell me more. Well, the scene was too. Staged. Mm -hmm. But I'm Ooh. not saying Chelsea isn't dead. The mystery gets deeper. The last time anyone saw her was with you at the Golden Pagoda. Well, yeah. What are you saying? I was a suspect? You were, in fact. Oh, shit. I'd have to look at the case. You were 
cleared at some point. Uh huh. Can I look at the case files? Please? Yeah, you know you can't, so don't even ask. Well, I just did. Look, Please. Murphy. Please? I feel for you. But it was a long time ago. Chelsea was pronounced legally dead, and there's no evidence to believe otherwise. Crap. I don't know what else I can tell you. Did you ever catch the guy who shot us? No arrest. Somebody high up on the chain locked that case down and threw away the key. A well, son of a bitch! Even if I wanted to see the file, I'd have to pull some strings. <laughs> what can you do to help me out here? I mean, until I see something or get some information, <sighs> I'm just not going to be able to believe that Chelsea's gone. I'm sorry, Murphy. I really am. If you can find me some new clues on the case, I'll do what I can to get it reopened. So I gotta do detective stuff. That's the best I can do for you. I gotta do, like, like super detective stuff. Good luck. Alright. No. No. I don't believe it. My gut tells me she's still alive. Yeah. But I'll find out one way or the other. We're gonna go all super detective mode. So why is it you think I came down here to turn myself in? Well, we just found you at a crime scene with a dead body. Oh, yeah. That dead body happens to be Carlos Maldonado. Uh-huh. P.I. work in the same neighborhood as you. Yeah. Is that your way of intimidating the competition? No, eliminating the competition. Not, not intimidating, eliminating. Well, lucky for me and Carlos, there's enough crime on Chandler Avenue to go around for two P.I.s. You boys do such a bang-up job now. No, don't Not be, true. don't be like Since that. Since I took over, mutant neighborhoods get the same attention as the norms. Well, I'll be sure to tell Carlos's mother if he had one. His head wound is I getting was just worse. Reviewing your file when you came. It happens. In. He should have gotten it checked. Should have gone to the docks. Is that a lot? Because it looks like a lot. It's quite a bit. August, 2047. Beak Nariz. Poor Beak. NSFPD informant. Beaten and hospitalized after providing information about Tex Murphy. Oh. Nariz refuses to identify his assailant. No charges ever filed. That doesn't prove anything. November 2048. Who's, who's the hottie? Surveillance video shows suspected extortionist Jen Lee leaving okay. the Golden Pagoda with Tex Murphy. Never to be seen again. That's, the that's case remains pure, unsolved. pure happenstance. Shall I go on? Oh, uh, maybe if you want, but it seems... In the past few years, you've gained quite a reputation for yourself. You've got new San Francisco's criminal underbelly running scared. Uh, so, I'm a, so I'm a good guy, right? You're a cop. Is, isn't that the way you like your criminal underbelly? Yeah, see, aren't I doing good? arrest criminals so they could be tried in a court of law. Oh. You don't just kill them, and I won't tolerate vigilantism. I'm sorry? If you didn't kill Maldonado, what were you doing then? I was, um... I was trying to, to to look around. I was awoken by gunshots. I was just trying to find out what was happening. I didn't know what was going on. I followed the trail and saw that Maldonado had surveillance equipment aimed at my office. I want to find out what he recorded. Like all the stuff. Who cares what he recorded? I do. If you're such an upstanding citizen, you've got nothing to hide, right? Well, what happens in my apartment stays in my apartment, man. Just saying. I wanted to find out whether he caught me scrapbooking. If that gets out, I'm through in this town. Yeah, no scrapbooking, Tex. I don't even think you're joking about that. Uh, well, so you're free to go, Murphy. For now. Uh huh. Any questions? Actually, yeah. Tell me about myself. I'm not sure what to think of you, Murphy. Okay. How about the abduction? Anything I about that? I have no evidence of an abduction. Just a dead body and only one person of interest. One person of interest? It might be I... in your best interest if you could find out what happened. Uh, I, yeah, I'll, I'll do your job for you. That sounds fine. Tell me about the Ritz. This is where I stay. That whole neighborhood seems to attract more than its fair share of trouble. Don't be mean. What about my, my lady friend, Chelsea? As far as the coroner and the commissioner were concerned, finding Chelsea's remains in your speeder were enough to pronounce her legally dead. Uh, I'm, I don't, I still don't believe it. Well, what about, what about the hottie that I was with She's an investigative reporter at the Bay City Mirror. Oh. One of the less obnoxious ones. Uh, keep your, keep your hands to yourself. She's, she's mine. Can I look at the surveillance video, please? I'm not allowed to let you see it. But, but, but I said please. <sighs> Fine. How about Carlos Maldonado? I know Maldonado Anything? Maldonado was a dirtbag. Well... But unless it's in self-defense, killing somebody, even a dirtbag, is a crime. And I will be prosecuted. I didn't do it, man. 
And I'm, I'm leaving here. You, you just that sit down and take a seat. Probably has what? some useful information on it. Oh, great advice. If you could help me break it, then I'd be impressed. Guess I'll have to see if anyone else on the street yeah. can break it for me. Yeah, probably. But, unfortunately, looking at the time, this is where we're going to have to call the stream for the evening. So let's save it. Let's save the, uh, save the game in a new slot, I suppose. Uh, latest save. Or I'll just call it save one or something. Save it. So now we're good to go. We will be good to go for next time. So I want to thank everybody for coming out and hanging out today. Tex Murphy, uh, um, what's it called? Tesla Effect. Awesome game. I think we're going to have a lot of fun uh, playing it and going through it. So I will see you later, random dude. Uh, everybody, anybody out there who is not followed yet, if you'd like to be notified when I come online, feel free to follow. If not, that's totally okay, too. We should be back again tomorrow afternoon. I'm not positive on that because work is sometimes being a total dick to me. But hopefully we can. But until then, I hope everybody has an amazing evening. Get some good rest. Eat some good food. And I will see everybody, hopefully, next time. Take care, my friends. And good night.